What's up, Toon Ram Fam? Ram Fam. So I made a decision. I'm gonna sell the Pro Charger, the D1 head unit. I'm gonna sell the uh, JBA shorties. I'm also gonna sell the Fastman 84 millimeter throttle body and the billet catch can. I'm gonna stay tuned. I'm gonna stay tuned with Jay Green for a while. I have a leg banker intake. I have an AEM uh, high float air filter going into the stock box, which is enough cold air. I'm just gonna drive it. I'm gonna drive it for the winter. And then next spring or the summer, I'm gonna decide on getting a cam and do some head work. I'm gonna stay NA for a while. Uh, this is a crew cab short bed. It's a four wheel drive truck. It's a family sedan. I have my kid in here, my three kids, my newborn, the wife. It's at stock height. I'm gonna keep it here for a while because priorities come first. And I can still have a nice tune. And uh, I have a brand new crate motor in here. Mopar motor, the new 5.7 and it's running good. I just got an inspection sticker. I'm gonna keep it tuned for a while. I'm gonna miss the boost. I am. I'm gonna miss it a lot. But I'm, every time I step on it, I'm worried about blowing a piston. And that scares me. Not financially, just it scares me because I travel a lot. I go to Maine, New Hampshire, and I don't want to blow a net because I'm a gearhead, so I ain't the floor, I ain't the make a, a presence every time I drive. So on the highway or on the on the street, on a side street, I don't want to pop something and be that idiot that's with his family in the middle of nowhere. You know, hundreds of miles away from civilization. That happened to me at Epping at the track. I popped my rear end. I blew the differential. Oh boy. Not good. Oof. Bad. Yep. Not good. All the teeth are missing. Oh, good shards. Differential test? Yeah, definitely blew it apart. It was a little embarrassing because that was the first time I brought the family up to race at the dragway. And I'm stuck there for three hours waiting for AAA. It's not fun. It's embarrassing and it's not responsible. So I'm staying responsible this time around. I just changed the thermostat. I just uploaded a J Green tune, the 93 octane tune. I'm gonna keep it tuned. And I'm throwing the leg maker on in about two minutes. I'm gonna keep it tuned. I'm thinking about putting a lift kit in this thing, about a four inch. Uh, we're in Massachusetts. They frown upon anything over two inches, but I think a four inch will do on a four, four door crew cab. I don't know. I've always had a lifted truck. Always. I've never had a stock height vehicle. That's part of my disease, you know. I got the gearhead syndrome, the GHS. Now you got the stock height syndrome, the SHS. It's like a vicious cycle of being high up or you want to be fast. But let's throw the leg baker on. It's simple. I already have it set up. I'll we'll screw it on and take it for a rip. Three is plugged up. I'm going to add some more fluid. Cap it off and get rid of this corrugated tube and throw a leg maker in. The leg maker's over here. Right here. Carbon fiber leg maker. Nice four inch tube to get rid of any air restriction. I'm sticking with the stock throttle body because what the setup I have now is not going to make a difference at all. Keeping the stock throttle body. I'm going to sell it and we'll. We'll see what happens next year. If I have to get another one, we'll get another one. I have an AEM high flow oilless filter in the box. The leg maker goes there. Keep this on. This gets cold air. Your grill actually has a section right here opening for cold air to go in to the fender. It goes right into that conical. Plenty of cold air. 
pull that bad girl on. All right, I got the leg maker intake installed. Straps are tight. I got the extension for the air temperature. And she's done. So I got a leg maker, J green tune, and a cold air intake, and a high flow air filter. And that's it. And I'll be keeping the clutch fan delete. That was already on there, and I'll leave it on there. All right, she's running at a nice cool 185. Fluctuates up to 192 once in a while, 194. That's rare, but it tip, typically stays at 185 to 186 with the 160 millidone in it. And she's done. That's it. She has a 160 thermostat. Milladone 160, leg maker intake, J Green tuned with a clutch fan delete. I have a AEM oilless filter. And that's it. Thinking about lifting her up again. I don't know yet. Thinking about it. Maybe go to a four inch with 35s. But she's running good, really good. It's a lot quicker. These trucks NA are a lot quicker off the line without boost. I, I, I see the difference. Top end, no. Low end, yeah. Well, that's it this time around. Until next time, guys, keep the Ram fam strong. Peace.